there's waves, you need to be real, you gotta be, remember that the I, ocean is powerful. I know, I know. Okay. Exactly. Very good words of advice. Very good words I, of advice I, from Jerry. <laughs> yes. So, we're gonna swim in the water? Yes. Yeah? You wanna swim in the water? I already got my baby. How about you guys? Yeah? Yep. Sage, you gonna swim in the water? <laughs> yeah? Okay, good. I'll go to the beach. Sage, where are we going? Right there. Right there? Let's go, baby. We're not this time. I don't know. I have to. All right. Ram. All right. Oh, there it is. The Atlantic Ocean. Looks like it did last time I saw it. Just south of the main area of West Palm Beach where they have public access on the beach. It's actually a nice day. I mean, this time of the year, it's May. It can get very hot and very rainy starting this time of the year, but we got lucky today. It's actually not too hot. It's just comfortably hot and it's not supposed to rain today. So looks like we lucked out. What you doing, bud? Looking for shells. Uh, did you find any? Uh, I found these two. Oh, wait, show them. Let's see, let's see really close. Oh, wow. There's an onshore wind and it's high tide now. So it's a kind of beach day where we come and Enjoy the sea breeze and maybe get our feet wet, but it's not really, not really a swimming kind of, not really a swimming kind of day. It's so weird feeling the seaweed kind of washing up on your feet, especially when the waves pull back out. I've never really felt that before at any beach. Um, shells attach to shells. Wow. Hey, what are you doing? Here it comes. Oh my god. Wow, see, that's a good boy. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you gotta... Sometimes you gotta watch out a little bit with the littles picking stuff out of the beach because, yeah, I mean, this is the open ocean, so a lot of things could wash up. I picked up a little small fry! Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, look at that! I got a little fish! <laughs> got Sorry, a bud! You wanna make a pool? Put him in a pool? Yeah, make a pool, guys, make a hole! Alright, see? He, he's uh, getting fish too, not just sand and seaweed and shells. Alright, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Any, any or anything. Oh dang it! Somebody took some of those shells away. <laughs> wow, check this out. So we have the magnificent sandcastle of Master Dennis right here. Dennis, you said was your name? Dennis. Dennis. Nice to meet you, Dennis. Nice to meet you. So this, I, I, I'm guessing you have some experience making sandcastles I've been doing to make this. this. Since I've been a child. <laughs> Oh, you said that you're not originally from here, right? New York. From New York. Oh, see, right, see, the, you know, us New Yorkers are all over the place down here, but I think most people knew that already. Oh, no. <laughs> if, if it wasn't for the New Yorkers, I don't think South Florida would be developed. Oh, no. One of your towers came down. Did it? One of your towers came down. Oh. Uh, all right. You got to, well, it probably, like, when it dries out, it gets tougher to hang on, right? Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a trick. It's got to be wet, wet and deep sand. Very good. All right. Well, you got to remember this beach was just renourished. This was, beach was just renourished, so the sand is really good. Oh, hey. Then the beach with the sand was pumped from out there oh. and put over here. Oh, right. Okay. Cool. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, cool. See, I, I legitimately did, did not even know that that, that, that was a thing. Well, you got to remember, the water was going all the way up to there. Yeah. Oh. All right. Awesome. Well, it was nice to meet you, Dennis. Nice to meet you, Take too. care. <laughs> so, apparently, there's this thing called a sand flea. I've never heard of this before, but it's, I guess, it's like a little mini crab or something. We heard from some people that we could find sand fleas here. So we're gonna try, and, and what, are, what are these sand fleas exactly? They're actually, uh, they're crabs. They're crabs. But they call them sand fleas, but they're mini crabs All right. that like live, they burrow in the break in the sand and people eat them. You All can right. fry them up and eat them. All right, so let's let's see if we can find any. We probably won't. The sea's kind of rough today, but you know, let's see what we can get. My cousin Jerry here is gonna record me trying to do it. Um, I have zero skill in this kind of thing. Get a whole, grab a whole bunch. Grab a whole bunch of sand right there. 
There you go. Yeah, so if you see in the viewfinder, you can see like really close. Yeah. Any sand fleas in there? Uh, I don't know. Let's You'll see them crawling around. I don't see any. Okay. Alright, let's try it. Let's try it a little bit more. Alright, oh, lots of seaweed coming here. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Getting any sand fleas? Nah. I think I have a better chance of finding a dog flea out here than finding a sand flea in this water. <laughs> if you don't find sand fleas, sometimes you can look for shells. That's what I like to use the well, sand look, there's some, for. There's some cool shells there's here. Shell, look at that or one. Or shark teeth. That or one. sea glass. Or sea beans. So there you go. I guess the water has to be a little calmer to find a sand fleas, so, oh well. I guess we're just gonna have to go and buy some food instead of just fishing it out here. Because we were really looking forward to eating some fleas for lunch today. You bud, can you get to look through there and see if you find any shark teeth All right. or anything? All right, wow, it's a lot of them here this time. Yeah. 